it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 82 of my TV. Haven't done that for ages and um, it shows. So I'm back, I'm back from holiday. Um, I got back a week ago and I'm not going to spend another whole episode talking about my holiday. I'm sure a lot of you are sick of it, but I only talk about it because there's so many learnings from it. For me, for anyone that wants to eventually not have the business revolve around them 24 seven. So as you know, I went away for 10 days. That is the longest I've ever been away for 11 years. 11 years ago at Christmas, I went away for three weeks. And since then, it's always been like maybe five days, a weekend here, weekend there. You know what it's like when you run your own business. So this was a really long holiday. On top of that, Matt was away for a week, my ops manager. So um, yeah, it was a bit, it was, it was actually very scary. And the couple of days before I went, contrary to kind of like my smiling face on the videos, I was not feeling overly confident about it. Um, and yeah, like, you know, my, my coach and the team, they were kind of like, everything will be fine. There was still like mega nerves when I left because you just, yeah, I just kind of think, well, there's going to be stuff that happens that needs my involvement. So how did it go? Well, um, ultimately really really well so I did a little bit of work while I was away well I'd say a kind of maybe like three four hours tops um some bits and pieces like banking stuff that actually I, I still I only I do or have access to um and basically when I got back um obviously had a debrief so this is the most important thing if you're going to take yourself out of the business even if it's for one day if one day is a big leap for you at the moment I really encourage you to take even if it's a couple of even if it's a morning off or a morning working from home and then you let the team do the thing and then you come in and like find out how it's happening these things are the learnings and the big thing that has really shifted my thinking is, I think a lot of business owners will spend so much time like fixing all the little like, we'll patch that, we'll fix that, we'll fix that. And they don't look at the, the things, the actual, maybe the accountabilities, the job descriptions, the, the big things that make it clear that people know what they're having to do. I think it's quicker, it obviously feels quicker and better for you know for business owners to fix the little things. Whereas if you start to look at, okay, what are the big things that I need to solve that will actually make way more strides? It may, may be a bit scarier, it may take a bit longer, it may involve processes, which I know for 99% of people are so boring to have to create. Um, but they, they are really good for you. So my big learning from being away is that one, you have to let the people get on and do their job. And um, we have worked quite hard on giving more accountability and job descriptions and clarity, so that helped. But ultimately, giving um, people the responsibility, um, having your trust in them, which they, you know, which they appreciate as well, and you know, your staff will want to do a good job for you. So number one was just letting people do their job, and that's what they're there for, and that's what they want to do. And you know, most people don't want to be micromanaged. So me stepping away and just letting them get on with it. It went incredibly well. We had a little list of maybe some teething things um, that we we could solve, but there was there was basically there was no big things where I was like, oh my god, this has been super painful to be away. Um, so yeah, so that is my big learning from from being away on holiday. You know, and the great thing for me now is that I know if I am out of the office, we're able to develop so far. You know, we're able to run the business so far. My other big thing, which to be fair, I already knew. Um, and I'm sure it's the same with a lot of businesses because you ultimately, when you're the business owner, you bring in the new business, that my business still won't grow without me. So if I'm not here, we're not going to take on new clients. It's just not going to happen. And that's not anybody else's fault apart from mine. You know, I don't have the uh, my patter, if you like, or whatever I talk about in sales conversations. I don't have that documented properly. We could probably nurture some leads. And, you know, if somebody inquires, then we're able to... Um, you know, we're able to maybe book them into my calendar or a diary for a chat with me, but I know that my business won't grow. So for my own thing now, that is my next big um, concentration point is that if I'm going to want to grow this, I'm still going to need to get some help and delegate way more the sales side of it because otherwise it's just not going to happen. So being on holiday, I did do some reading, which means there is a small book recommendation coming. Um, I read Richard Branson's Finding My Virginity. It basically um, recounts everything that he's kind of done and achieved since 1999 and every chapter is a little story. It's super interesting, it's super mind-blowing, everything that he's achieved and his approach to things. And there is one thing from it which I think, um, I know myself as a small business owner, would take from it. And it's that he has obviously gone into many different sectors, you know, airlines to internet to media to money and banks. And every single time he has 
put together a world-class team that are able to grow a business from because he's done it from scratch every single time now i certainly don't have the cash to i don't know create a new service sector in my pa and just helicopter in a world-class team to then just take me out of it completely and grow it from scratch to look after everything and a majority of well small business owners don't you know you you deliver the service then you add another employee and you grow it organically and you kind of put bits together but what I realized is and obviously being on holiday and it lets you step back and you can look at things afresh and you're not like bogged down in all the nitty-gritty he is absolutely hell-bent on relieving himself of any nitty-gritty so you know he's always had a PA he said like that's uh, been categorically for him one of his key uh, key hires throughout his whole business career because they've kind of kept him on track and kept all the rubbish away from him but aside from the PA the, the PA bit he just he lets people get on with it they grow it and um, and so there's always different layers of that and for me it's just it's my kind of motivation and I you know that I want to do my little bit to get um, get the invoicing off my plate next so I did the invoicing while I was on holiday that is something that I need to get rid of I realize obviously my business won't grow without me um, to, to do the sales. So that's the next thing I need to alleviate a bit more. And so, you know, Richard Branson does it on an absolutely mega scale that he absolutely gets rid of, delegates everything and they report to him and he does the very, very high level stuff. But even in your small business, there is the next step high level stuff. So whether it's getting somebody else to help deliver the service, whether it's um, getting somebody to help look after the customers, whether you can then just start to think about how do I get more customers, then you think about who can I partner with, and it's all just like little incremental steps, but all these incremental steps will take you to an amazing place. So highly recommend the book, and yeah, my thing from Richard is just that the more you get off your own plate, the more you can focus on adding real value to your business and to your life. So definitely have a look at that if you're in the need to read something. Um, and that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of little update on my holiday. And next week, I'm going to get back to some kind of core tips on how I can help your business grow, make it profitable, and most of all, um, make the most of your time. So I'll see you next week for episode 83. See you then. Bye-bye. Do I need to do the sign-off again? I think that's all right. There's a few big pauses there. I know that's what I mean. But it's just, it's maybe it's just natural. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I only picked it up in time. Did you want to get a shot of... Oh, yeah.